A new scheme to help first time buyers and key workers get onto the property ladder has just been made available as of the 4th of June 2021. This is being called the first home scheme with the first set of properties being made available this Friday gone in the East Midlands in Derbyshire with further properties being made available across England in the upcoming weeks and months. So let's learn more about this. I'm Kozan from Financial Manners helping you be better with your money. So what is the first home scheme? It is a government run scheme that will provide discounted homes to first time buyers who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford one. The scheme is for first time buyers looking to purchase new build properties within their community and they can purchase these properties with a discount of 30%. 30% is the standard rate, but local councils do have the option to increase this discount to up to 50% if they are within areas where the house prices are particularly high. This could see savings of around £100,000 or more for first time buyers that get involved in the scheme. So how does this first home scheme work? So the scheme involves building new properties specifically to be sold at a discount. And the quality of these properties should be maintained as if it was a fully priced house. As I already mentioned, these homes will be put on the market at a discount of 30% but local councils can increase this to up to 50% for the more expensive areas. If you do purchase a property under the scheme and then later on down the line you decide to sell it, the house will then be re-evalued and the discount will be reapplied to this new value so that the discount will be passed on to the new owners. So for example, say the market value of a property was 300,000 pounds, but through the first home scheme, you managed to secure a 30% discount at a price of 210 £10,000. In a few years you decide to sell on this property and the market price has now been revalued at £400,000. The discount will then be reapplied and will have to be sold at £280,000. This is to ensure that properties under the scheme continue to be under the market value to ensure that future first time buyers can also benefit from the scheme. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe with notification bell on. I release a video every single week talking about all things personal finance with the ultimate aim of helping you be better with your money. So who is eligible for this scheme? So first off, you do need to be a first time buyer, meaning that you have never owned a property anywhere else in the world. If you are buying this with someone else like a partner, they too will also have to be a first time buyer as well. Purchases will be prioritized for those that want to buy within their local area. And these have to be homes that you intend to live in. So no buy to let allowed here. The scheme is open to people in every profession. However, certain professions do take priority. These include serving members and veterans of the armed forces and key workers such as teachers, NHS staff, firefighters and those within the police force. The properties will be capped at £250,000 across England with the exception of London. This has a higher cap of £420,000. The buyer's combined income cannot be more than £80,000 across England. Again, this is slightly higher for those that live in London. This will be £90,000. Local authorities can choose to set lower caps than this within the first three months of the property going on sale. And lastly, you do need to get a mortgage to buy under the scheme. Those that can afford to buy these discounted homes without a mortgage will not be considered. This is one of the measures to stop people purely using this scheme for investment purposes. So sticking on the topic of mortgages, how much deposit do you actually need to buy a first home property? So many lenders have already announced that they'll be offering high loan to value mortgages in conjunction with the first home scheme. So we can probably expect that you will need a deposit between five to 15%. If you do have a deposit between five and 9%, you will likely be using the 95% mortgage guarantee scheme that the government have already introduced earlier this year to again, help buyers get onto the property ladder. And lastly, how do you find homes that are running this scheme? Uh, unfortunately, and rather annoyingly, there is no dedicated website that lists all the properties that are under the first home scheme. Maybe this will come in time when more and more properties come onto the market. However, for now, you will have to do a lot of your own research within your local area. So to do this, you do have to find developers within your local area that are taking part in the scheme. And once you have found one, you can apply directly to these developers to purchase that home under the first home scheme. So although the first set of homes have just been released, 
released in this scheme. The scheme itself is still in its infancy and we can expect that the demand for these properties will be quite competitive. To set expectations, they are aiming to have at least 1,500 homes ready by the end of this year under the scheme with another 10,000 homes by the end of next year. Because the number of properties are so limited, particularly within this year, to get involved within this scheme as soon as possible, you do have to stay on top of the local developments within your area and see if any of them are being involved in this scheme. Cool, so that is it for this week's episode. Let me know in the comment section down below if you plan to get involved in this scheme and are you from Derbyshire and have you managed to claim any of those new houses that have just been released? Let me know, I love having a conversation with you all. And as always, if you did find this video really useful, I would appreciate if you smash that like button. That does wonders for the YouTube algorithm and the growth of this channel. And remember, I release a video every single week. So if you wanna keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button too. See you later, bye.